Hey champion guitar players, have you ever noticed how the delay effect sounds great on guitar or on a voice, but sounds a bit messy and out of time when you're playing a song? That happens because the speed of your delay setting is not in time and is not in sync with the tempo of the song that you are playing or recording. So whether you want your delay effects to sound better live or in the studio when producing music, you need a way to quickly calculate your digital delay to your song's tempo. But even that's not really enough. You won't always want the delay to come in on a quarter note. You might want it on some other note, eighth note, 16th note, a triplet, etc. For example, sometimes you may want the delay to sync up with a half note or a dotted eighth or a 16th note triplet or a dotted 32nd note or a half note triplet or anything else in between all those. Now there's a really hard way and a super fast and easy way to make those delay in frequency calculations. The hard way is to memorize a bunch of mathematical formulas, one for each note value, and then figure out the delay settings with a calculator. Or you can figure it out with a single click on your computer or on your phone. I have a totally free tool that you can use on your computer, a tablet, or a phone to calculate any delay setting for any tempo of a song and any note. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you how this completely free tool works. There's no strings attached. You don't even have to give me your email address. You just go to the link and it works instantly. All right, so what we do here is at the top, it says BPM, this is the tempo of your song. So let's say you wanted to figure it out for 97 beats per minute, put 97, and then you click calculate. It's all you have to do and it's gonna tell you what the delay setting has to be in milliseconds, MS is milliseconds. So if you want the delay, every note that you play to come back in at a half note, at this tempo of 97, you see that you set the delay to 1,237 milliseconds. You don't have to worry about the stuff after the decimal. No one's gonna perceive that. If that's zero, 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 that's fine. If you want to then do it as a quarter note, then the delay is 618. 618 and a half milliseconds. If you wanted to do it as a dotted eighth note, then you've got 463, almost 464 milliseconds. If you wanted to do it as half note triplets, then it's 824, almost 825 milliseconds. If you wanted a very short delay, maybe a dotted 32nd note, you've got 115, almost 116 milliseconds. You can do all the way to 64th note triplets. That's really, really fast. So fast, it's hard to even perceive that at this tempo. And if you wanna change the tempo, you wanna try it for another song, just click reset, and then it clears, and then you type in a new tempo. Let's say we got something a little faster. Let's say it's 165. You click calculate, and there it is. These are all your delay times for all of the note values, dotted half, half note, uh, half note triplet, et cetera. Now, some of you I know want to have a whole note delay. So in a measure of four, four, you would be four beats, a uh, delay would come four beats later. All you do is you take the half note and you double this. So just multiply 727 times two that'll give you a whole note. Everything else is calculated here for you. You don't have to worry about this stuff here on the right side for the hertz for the frequency stuff. If some of you guys know what that means and what that's about, great, you can use it as you like. But for 99% of you, you're never gonna use that or need to worry about it. We're just thinking about the delay and the number of milliseconds. So if you want a dotted 16th note at 165 beats per minute, you know that it's 136 milliseconds. It's also a cool little feature at the bottom. If you want to know how many seconds, how many seconds of time are in each measure, this assumes 4-4 four, four in this case. It is, in this example, at this tempo, it's 1.455 seconds per measure. That's how long one measure of 4-4 four, four would last at 165 beats per minute. 
If we reset this and type in something slower, like let's say we type in 80 and do calculate, you see that each measure is now three seconds long. And then of course, all the uh, digital delay uh, times change. So quarter note triplets is now 500, eighth notes are 375, et cetera. So that's a really, really cool tool that you can use to set your digital delay to any song, any tempo, any note value that you want. Now, to access this, all you have to do is just open up a web browser, go to my website, and go to this URL, tomhess.net forward slash tools forward slash delay calculator dot a s p x the link should appear on the screen right now you don't have to buy anything you don't have to opt in anything you don't have to share your name your email nothing just go to the link and use it bookmark the page come back to it every time that you use it let all your friends know about it it's cool you can use it anytime you want for as long as you want